Welcome back to another Smart Architect tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at creating the graphic that you see on screen right now. This is a sectional perspective that gives some depth to a typical section drawing. And this is for a residential scale project that you're seeing here that I've worked on. And we're going to just jump right in and get started here in Revit. So the first thing I'm going to do, since this is an existing project for me, I'm going to duplicate the view that I'm going to use to lay out my current drawing. So I'm going to expand just the crop region of this view so that my camera view does show up. And then I'm going to come up here to my quick access toolbar. Let's click on this drop down. We'll click on the camera. And I'm just going to start a camera view and make my extents past the end of my building. And that's going to give me what you see right here, which is pretty much a perspective view looking at my building from afar off. Now in order to turn this into a sectional perspective, over here on our properties menu, let's check the section box. And when I do that, you now see pretty much an extent for the section box that's showing up here in the view. So if I click on this section box now, that it's visible, and I'll just start to use my toggle, and I'm going to, you can see that that box is starting to shrink in depth and pretty much you use that section box and I'm going to manipulate it as much as I need to right now it's kind of already showing me where I wanted to see as far as into the kitchen and some others but you can see up here on the third floor we're kind of seeing into our sink so you can continue to manipulate this box I do like to zoom out far enough that as I'm toggling on this you see how I can if you look up at the section box you can see I can get a sense of just how much I'm moving that section box into my view or not so this looks pretty good it just gives you the sense and you can continue to play around with this as much as you need to in your project but this begins to lay out the view so now we have a 3d view and we can go ahead and we can rename this I'll probably rename this my sectional perspective okay so now that we've got this named and in, in our project the next thing I want us to do is we're going to play around with a little bit of the display configuration. If you look back at this PDF, you see how I kind of have applied a little bit of um, some graphic display um, character to the drawing. So let's just do that quickly. So let me get back in Revit. And the first thing I want us to do is if we just come down here on the visual style toggle. And we'll click that. We'll come up here to our graphic display options. On the graphic display options, first thing I want us to do is come over here to shadows. And I'm going to check this show ambivient shadows. And let's just click apply. We'll see that we'll see that softness applied to this section view right there. And I'm also going to click on cast shadows and apply that one as well. So now you can see the two of them combined. If you can play around with these as much as possible, just want to expose you to as much of them, as much of what I've done in my drawing as possible. And then you go from there with what you like. So now at this point, that kind of gives us, that gives us that shadow effect. Okay, so the next thing I want us to also do while we're in this view is let's get a post shade look to the rest of our view. So I'm going to just select on my view and I'm going to come up here to edit visibility and graphics overrides on my properties menu. And I know what I need to adjust here. We're going to adjust for the walls. And so I'm going to come over here. I know that right where we're cutting through the surface is what I want to cut my cut and pattern if you see. So we're over here and I'm going to click and override the walls. There's no override right now. I'm going to override it with a black pattern and then I'm going to select the pattern and do a solid fill. And I'm going to repeat this process. If I click apply here, right now you'll see it's applied to some of my new walls because I have phases in my project. I'm going to have to make one more modification, but let's go ahead and make the adjustments for the other elements as well. So that was just the walls. So I'm going to make this same adjustment for the roofs as well going to select the color of that solid fill and select the pattern once again. And feel free to play around with these 
and kind of create your own style as much as you like. That's the roof, and I, I know that I have one more that I want to do as well. Let's do the floors. All right. So now that we've overridden these objects for this view, you can see it's only showing up. The project that I'm working on, the new phase is pretty much a remodel of this rear entrance to the to this house. Um, but because I have phases applied, I do need to make one modification down here to my phases. And we'll explore phases in a different video. But for this video, I just wanted to make sure that I went ahead and adjusted this for you. And you can see when you have the proper phase associated with that view, this gives you the sectional perspective that I was creating there. So feel free to play with this. This can, can, can start to give you that arc record if you're familiar with that magazine give you some of the some of the graphic images that you see in there that aren't as uh, construction documentation like they're a little bit uh, more graphically friendly for putting in a magazine or just illustrating the point here so I hope this video has been helpful for you and here is your sectional perspective and the graphic display configurations necessary to make it look like this I hope this video has been helpful for you. Please continue to check out any of the other Smart Architect tutorials and let me know what you think. Please subscribe to the Smarter Architect YouTube channel and look for more videos like these. Thanks a lot.